the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. This is your boy, Reed, BBS, BBS, Black Burt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Well, well, old Vasil Lomachenko becomes the unified WBA, WBO, lightweight champion of the world. 12-round unanimous decision over the game. The game, Jose Pedraza. Scorecards were 117-109, two times, two times, and 119-107. The fight itself got a 1.4-metered uh, market Nielsen rating. I believe the Nielsen ratings, y'all know what that is. Making it the second highest rated boxing telecast in 2018 behind only... Terrence Crawford versus Jose Benavidez back in October. It was a it was a workmanlike effort for Lomachenko, who many feel is the best fighter in the world pound for pound, and especially ESPN feels that way. They were the ones who broadcast the fight, and they were beating that drum uh, to death like a dead horse all night long. Like it was pound for pound number one Vasil Lomachenko pound for pound number one Vasil Lomachenko like that's his first and middle name and Vasil Lomachenko is actually his last name or something pound for pound number one Vasil Lomachenko not saying I agree or disagree I don't, I haven't really done a pound for pound list I have an idea of who would be on it but it's you know I don't really like to no one jumps out at me like the way Roy Jones did for years or how Floyd has for years no one's really jumping out to me and seizing it, so I just I choose not to go there. Uh, but yeah, it was a workmanlike effort for Lomachenko, who was on an eight bout KO streak. It gets to a point uh, when you become a victim of your own success, of the quality of your own performances. If you just if you set the bar so high, man, and you just always putting it down well. Like at, at some point you're gonna have an off night. I remember this vividly with Roy Jones. I mean his fights with Montel Griffin and Bryant Brandon and Virgil Hill and Art Sawano. Like he just rattled off so many good ones that when he would fight in Eric Harding or Derek Harmon and not look as scintillating, it was like, oh, okay. You know, Roy was a victim of his own of his own success, a victim of his own stellar performances. Coming off right shoulder surgery, Lomachenko, he was kind of meh. He was kind of meh. He was, he was, he was just all right. He was all right, being honest. If you uh, had heard all along, this is the best fighter in the world, pound for pound, you would not have come away from that fight feeling like you had just seen the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. I'll say it that way. He's definitely still recovering from the shoulder, no doubt about it. He didn't use his right hand as much didn't pivot and fire near as much as we're accustomed to seeing uh the work rate wasn't quite what we're accustomed to seeing to paraphrase floyd mayweather he was straight up and down no special effects that was that's a fitting that's a fitting way an apt way to describe the fight the other day it's uh this ain't one for the time capsule or something fans 20 years from now need to watch to get a grasp of how the great Vasil Lomachenko fought. This ain't one of them fights. Tactical fight. Pedraza switched stances. He gave Lomachenko different looks. He was a game dude. He was tough, a little bit longer, rangier. And, you know, again, coming off the shoulder, it posed problems. The highlight of the fight was uh, clearly round 11 when Lomachenko dropped a dramatic unending flurry of shots on Pedraza like he was raining punches on him after hurting him with an uppercut Pedraza eventually even tasted the canvas twice that round from body shots that was that was pretty much the only high of the night just being honest of that particular fight I should say so no knockout for Lomachenko but he did get two knockdowns and he unified for the very first time one of the things one of my peeves about fighters so you just won the mic's in your face. I like for you to I like for you to name names. Say my name. Like Ali told Ernie Terrell, say my name. Say my name. Like when Terrence Crawford said, I want them all after the Benavidez fight. 
I was like, nah, bro, specify, man. Say say my name. Say your name. Let it be known. I want to fight that dude or these two dudes or these three dudes. But say their name. Well, on that note, Lomachenko said he wants Mikey Garcia next. He's spoken into existence. He wants that smoke. And that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, real quick, subscribe, like, comment for your boy. I'm seeing an uptick in the comments and the likes and the subscribers. And I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I'll respond to every comment. I promise you. On the undercard, Isaac Dog Bay lost his WBO Super Bantamweight title by unanimous decision to Emmanuel Navarrete. I love Dog Bay's spirit, his energy. Like, it resonates with a brother, you know. And I love his mantra. Love his mantra. Neho. Neho. Yeah, that's a small, aggressive little dude. I cut for him a little bit. But yeah, that was a pretty one-sided L he took. He uh, he alluded to maybe not taking campus seriously, maybe feeling himself a little too much before the fight, you know, based on his success. And we'll see if he can improve upon his performance, man. One thing I, I do know, he ain't finna grow six inches. And he was troubled mightily, mightily by the length of Navarrete. But we'll see if Mr. Dog Bay, if anybody has the heart to overcome a loss like that, it's Isaac Dog Bay. So we'll see what's up with that. You know I got to shout out Teofimo Lopez again. Like Y'all just know that. Because what he did to Mason Menard bears repeating. It's the KO of the year, man. KO of the year. Looping right hand and timber. My man fell like a chopped tree. Like a chopped tree. Teofimo Lopez stole the show undoubtedly. And the obvious question is, what's next? You know, where do you go next? I hate to rush a 21-year-old with just 11 fights, but man, man, Teofimo Lopez could end up catching a case if he keeps on fighting the Mason Menards of the world. Like, they can't continue to match him with guys like that. It's just too brutal, too hard on them dudes. And so I'm just going to say it. I think Teofimo Lopez beats Ray Beltran right now. Ray Beltran, same dude who just held the uh, WBO title before losing it to Jose Pedraza. I think Lopez would beat him right now. Beltran actually stopped uh, Mason Menard later than, uh, than Teofimo Lopez did. I think it went seven rounds in that case. Same with Devin Haney. Took him nine rounds. Took Teofimo Lopez 44 seconds. And as ambitious as this kid is, maybe one more fight against the top 15, 20 dude, and then why not, man? Why not? Test the waters against a former world champion like Beltran. I think he's ready. Real talk, I think Teofimo Lopez is ready. Subscribe, like, and comment for your boy. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. This is Reed, BBS, BBS, Black Burt Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.